media fam. I don't know, I guess today I'm just in that uh, video making mode, so uh, yeah, so I'm on my way home right now. Uh, the university is about, uh, I'll say, five, ten minutes away from here. Yeah, what are we even going to talk about? I don't know, but I guess we'll, we'll try and make up some, uh, some subjects as we go along. Probably until I get uh, the entrance or something. Yeah, so yesterday or is it this morning? Yeah, I slept at 6 or was it 05? Yeah, and then woke up by uh, uh, 12 or 13 hours. Yeah, and since today I can't really make any headway in terms of the final graduation project, so I thought I just want to take some time. time down down time down 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 time yeah i'll take some down time and uh, i'll relax a little bit so went out to grab something to eat and yeah just you know relax and uh loosen up a little bit you know it's nice to do that for yourself once in a while you know and you don't need to go you don't need to go uh, rather you don't need oh you don't always need to in the company of people to have a good time it's i think it's an art you know learning to enjoy your own company like i do i enjoy my own company and of course i'm surrounded by people whose company i enjoy i enjoy that too but i enjoy my company first my own company first yeah so when i get home i'll, I'll eat what i uh, went to buy and then at the same time, we'll probably uh, watch some football and maybe that will be it. If I won't have anything else to do, I'll probably go to sleep. Or if not, I'll, I'll try and catch up with the people from home. On Facebook and WhatsApp. It's, it's nice to stay in touch with people, you know. You don't have to just, uh, you know, forget about them. It's nice to stay in contact here and there, you know, and know what's going on, the country, their life, yeah, that sort of thing. So, what's the next subject? It's actually winter right now, and oh, today is actually one of the good days. I think the weather reading said it was about six six degrees Celsius or something like that. And it's usually cold, but I think in my observation this year hasn't been as cold as uh, previous years. Because uh, by the time we get to let's say this point in the year, uh, we've already seen the snowfall like twice. But this year it only happened once rather right, last year when I'm okay let me just say when you talk of the winter season like in the city where I am we usually get uh, snow for three times you know that's really heavy tangible snowfall that you can uh, count as snowfall per se you know? so this this year or rather this winter we only got one and it was very scanty so I reckon the newbies that you know just uh, arrived at the school they didn't really get to enjoy the snow like uh, we did back in the back in the day there was so much snowfall that you could you know just glide in here to make the snowballs and the things and you know have a good time you know but this year it was so scanty it was so scanty that i don't think they really got to enjoy it or anything like that but maybe they have some hope Towards the end of January, towards the end of January, there might be some snowfall, but that's not a guarantee. I think just in general, this winter hasn't been as severe as previous winters. Maybe it's uh, because of that big global warming thing. Even though I don't really like to pay much attention to that stuff, but ah, who knows? Ah, okay, so now I'm about to cross the road. 
you know, can't be uh, okay. It's my turn now, so I'm not going to be. The angle is phone camera angle is. Jeez, this guy. I wish they would put some robots on this zebra cross. Because really, it's up to you to pick the right time and then cross. And you know, the drivers aren't really going to give you a chance to cross. Because they are also in a hurry to go somewhere. So, you just have to pick the best time and then cross. zebra crossings you know and the yeah they do have robots but the robot only gets activated when uh, you press a button signal will create that you want to cross so when you press a button and then it's going to give you uh, some kind of a kind countdown and when it flashes green you can cross it flashes green you can cross so there was this guy I reckon he had been standing at the zebra cross for several minutes like that and he was surprised as to why the cars didn't seem to be stopping or it wasn't becoming green or something so the guy just stood there and I don't know if he couldn't observe his environment or something because I mean if you have eyes you're going to see that okay that's that looks like a button and I think I should press it I guess right I should press it or something 360 I should press it so then we came along and we pressed the button and so that's how the guy ah, that's how the guy like uh, it's like he got jerked back to life and he was like what so you mean I had to press that button all along and I've been standing here for so many minutes and I didn't know that I was supposed to do that <laughs> yeah Ubrut. Ignorance. Yeah, but like my old man always used, to, always used to tell me, if you get to a certain place and you're new, you don't really know the, your way around, as long as you have eyes, your eyes are functioning, you can observe. You don't need to observe for 30 minutes, just a little bit of time. Just observe what people are doing and you're going to be able to catch something. Okay, so people go in there and they, they touch this thing on my jingy and then this happens. Observation, and yeah, I've always uh, done that in my life. You know. Observe. But some people, I guess, the eyes, yeah, it's, you know, it's some kind of a wolf, dog, or something. There it is, in the background. But the good thing with dogs is that ah, they've been so domesticated that I don't know if they have that killer animal instinct anymore. No. They do all sorts of silly stuff with them, you know. Stuff them in clothes, or rather put them in some kind of clothes and actually treat them like little babies, I'm going to say. They are pampered too much. I bet. In the dog's mind, the dog is probably thinking like, what, what the hell is going on? Somebody get me out of here, you know? The dogs and other domesticated animals are probably uh, plotting ways to escape you know, from the torture that their masters are giving them. Of course, they enjoy the food, but they are made to do very... Okay, if I was a dog, I would find it very embarrassing to be put in, I don't know, I don't know some kind of clothes I'd find it embarrassing it's either I would revolt against my master or just run away altogether hey, what you looking at? Yeah. Anyway, one of the things you have to do is can you be all young? Notice, or rather, they used to be. Sometimes they always look at you like you've got some uh, 
I don't know, some kind of a honk shooting out of your head, you know, like you've got something peculiar on you. They always have that look on you, even though when you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, okay, yeah, I don't see anything special here, like there's no special hairstyle or something like that, but to them, and I don't mean everybody, but a lot of them, even people that will say that they see you a lot, because like, okay, you see me around in the school, but each time you see me, it's like you're seeing me for the first time. And so they always have it. That you know, that kind of look in their eyes. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. Something like that, you know. Mass on ganda ganda like that. <laughs> yeah. They're just like that, you know. They just just let me shrug it off like that. Whatever. You want to admire me? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I to say no? Go ahead, feast your eyes on the majesty, the splendor of the king. I won't stop you if that is what you have decided to do. <sighs> Let's see, am I any closer to getting getting into the school? Ah, uh, no. Looks like I've got. So the previous video got interrupted by this damn software update that's been bothering me, bothering me, bothering me to update the phone, but I don't want to. Because my phone's already rooted and uh, I think it's running in optimal condition right now. So I don't want to, you know, update it and then find that one or two things is not working the way it should be and then start the process of routing i don't want to do that because even to install the software update itself i have to first unroot the phone and that's a lot of work which i don't want to do okay so i'm crossing the road right now and i can't do uh, concentrating on the phone right now. okay cross now I'm under the bridge oh it is a bridge don't look at me like that. <laughs> okay, there's one more to go, one more crossing. Then I'll be finally at the university. Where is this guy going? Okay, thank you. And we've crossed. So, yeah. Another 360. Imagine this would be one of those vlog type videos. Ah. Should I tell you the name of my school? Nah. If you are interested, you can go and find out. I want to tell you where I am. But it's China. So if you are interested, go and find out on your own. I won't be telling you. Yeah. So. It's not really as cold as it was. We didn't have mentioned this. Today is actually one of the good days. One of the good days for this. Okay. Sometimes before getting out of the apartment, <laughs> you put on so many layers of uh, you know warm clothing, and you look like as though you're going on an expedition to the north or south pole, just in order to avoid the cold weather. Ah, cold. And of course, the rooms have got uh, those radiator thingies. Yeah, radiators, I believe they're called. So those help to keep the room usually, yeah, at a good temperature, per se, compared to the outside. And personally, I haven't uh, needed to use my aircon since the summer yeah so they do a pretty good job and if i want to drink hot water i just or rather warm water i just place my uh, 
I just place the bottle. I just place a bottle of water over the, the radiator, and after a couple hours, it just warm. Sometimes the radiator is giving out so much heat that the boil the water actually tastes. Uh, I would say oh, okay. It's not really hot that it's searing your tongue or anything, but it's it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. And then some days the water is just. Or rather the temperature, you know, the sort of mini climate in the room is just so good that you don't want to go outside. And so there comes the dilemma when you're hungry, you know you have to go outside to eat, but, but you know, you're facing that dilemma. Okay, if I go outside, it's cold. And I don't want to face the cold. I want to stay out here where it's warm. Okay. So if you're hungry, then you ask me. Then you know, you know you're not going to start asking yourself. Okay, am I really am I really that hungry? Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not really that hungry. Okay. So sometimes that's what actually happens. It's a dilemma. And you kind of face the same dilemma. Going to school, rather going for classes during the winter it's hard sometimes you get to class and you find there's only two people only two people were you know brave enough to make it through the cold and get to the classroom okay so we've arrived at the university the opposite side is a mall I haven't done one of these blog type videos in a long time and I'm not really a blogger so I'm not going to do this often. Uh, yeah. Look at this class. During the, during the winter. <laughs> Some guys, they've never. Guys and gals, rather. They've never even stepped foot in class during the winter season. For some, it's the whole year. Yeah, the only one who can know what they're coming here to do. Like I always like to say, I was born alone. I came to this world alone, and I will die alone. And you know, sometimes uh, the teachers and professors think uh, like it's my responsibility to tell a grown-up that he or she is supposed to come to class. I mean can't get that through your skull then what the hell are you doing here now look at the teacher and like oh, okay just you know give that uh they tell you oh no please tell your friends and uh please, please tell your friends that they should come to class and just be like yeah okay but in my mind i'm like yeah, who the hell do you think is going to tell somebody to come to class when they know already that they should come to class i don't have any children here so if that's what you want to do with your life my friend by all means go ahead i'm not going to stop you I mean we're all adults, you know. Whether what we're doing is right or not. And so that's kind of the dilemma that these people face. I'm going to tell nobody to come to class. If you want to stay at home for I don't know the whole year, my friend do it by all means. I don't care. It's not like we're going to share the fruits of your laziness or whatever it is that you're doing. So people should. So responsibility on the own. Yeah, it's actually pretty dark right here. This patch doesn't have much uh, light. Okay, it's the light is sufficient for your eyes, you know, in order to see where you're going. But for the camera, it's not enough. I'd probably have to turn on the flash. I can't do that right now since I'm using the selfie cam and if I, I don't know, if, if I, maybe if I attempt to turn on the flash it might uh, cut the video or rather stop the video Whew. I've been walking for I'll say an hour altogether because first I had to take some clothes to the tailor or tailor that 
I live with a lot of my people stay back home. Uh, some of my people, you know. So, I had to take some clothes to the tailor. It was uh, about five. I don't know. Okay, I'll say. Okay. Uh, okay, it's like one kilometer. Okay. Yeah. It's like one kilometer from where I live. Yeah. So, after that, I went to the supermarket to do some shopping. You know, I just feel like eating uh, uh, salads. Some, uh, some chips, you know. So, uh, I guess that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And when I make my package salad, I don't like you know, to make a little one, then come back. Uh, I hate cooking, I only do it because I have to. So, I try my best to prepare as much as I can, you know, of course, without it getting rotten. At least, if I prepare. It should be able to last me uh, like one, two days, something like that. That's different. I like cooking every day. I like cooking every day. So, yeah. After that, I went to. You know, after. Actually, after buying the groceries, I came back home, dropped off the, the bag. And the bag was heavy as hell. And I was not going to go with that heavy bag to the restaurant. So that's how I came back. I dropped the bag off at home and then I went to the kind of restaurant where I went to get something. So yeah. It's kind of a Mexican style restaurant. I was saying, yeah, they have stuff like the tortillas, the chimichangas, that kind of thing. So I went there, got uh, one beef burger. Changas uh, and some uh, uh, grilled chicken. Oh, they make that chicken so nice and so delicious. You know, just the seasonings, the aroma, everything is on point in that chicken. Right? Well marinated. It reminds me of those days back home. Ah, but I missed a lot from home. Those days when, you know, uh, dad would buy. Meat and we actually we actually coined those uh, such days uh, chess and yama <laughs> because there'd be so much we'd give because uh, they would buy some meat and then we then have to you know grill it on the bright stand and you know maybe make some some chips and then you know, you just have a good time and yeah those days were really nice really cool looking back on them now I miss those days. Of course, I have to try my best to sometimes recreate those uh, traditions on my own. But I'm not going to start grilling meat on my own. That's too much work. So I'd rather go where they've already prepared meat and then uh, get it. Yeah. So that's the restaurant where I went. Now I'm on my way home. had been during the day you would have you would have gotten to see what the, the rest looks like. Yeah. I don't know. One of these days before I go back home, I have to do one of those sort of videos where I don't know, I just take my camera around and you know, show you what it looks like. So as you can see what I'm seeing. See? I've never done one of those videos. Yeah. I think I should should do one of those videos for going back later this year. Wow, this time is just going by so fast man. Sometimes I feel like I just got here yesterday. It's not the case. It's not the case. Oh yeah. 
or uh, the student hostel, whatever you want to call it. And there's another one right over there where my hand is pointing. So I should still remember that too. Building for anyway. Stay here. Yeah. Uh, so I've arrived. 